Hello and welcome to an impromptu exciting video today. I'm here in Egan, Minnesota near the almost constructed Egan Supercharger. I think we got a couple more weeks on this. I'll bring you more details on that in another video. But today, Tesla and Ford made a major announcement. Ford is going to be switching to the Tesla connector, the NACS, North American Charging Standard, implementing that on vehicles starting with, I think, model year 2025, so starting next year. And other Ford EVs will have access to the supercharging network, not only via Magic Dock, but also with an adapter that will take existing Mustang Mach-E's, F-150 Lightnings, and the Ford E-Transit, and have those be able to use the supercharger network as well. I do believe this is only for some superchargers, Maybe it's just V3s and new constructions of V4s. I'm not 100% sure. But they said 12,000 superchargers would be available to Ford owners and then more going forward. So major announcement, major game changer. So much so that I just saw on the way over here that the mach -E vlog, Patrick and Liv, they stopped what they were doing at Disneyland to listen to the Twitter space during this announcement between Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, and Elon Musk. And they took a couple questions, but basically talked between themselves about this partnership and maybe some future partnerships going forward with maybe software. Who knows where that will go in the future? But I wanted to come here specifically because when Tesla announced they were opening up their charging standard to anyone who wanted to use it, there was a lot of speculation that including from me that this was too late, a day late and a dollar short of an announcement and no one at this point is gonna take it up. But there was some speculation of, well, maybe Ford might do it. It would be good for them, but it was pretty hard to believe that a major old school OEM after they've developed their CCS process would then scrap that and go in on the Tesla network. But there was a lot of concern at the time from Tesla owners that opening up the standard, other vehicles choosing to use it would mean superchargers would get clogged up and there wouldn't be enough spots for Teslas on a busy weekend. And that's why we're here. I've been watching this. It's been about two months since they first dropped off the tractors to start construction here. And this is probably pretty close. There might be another month, but they're putting these in fast. And I think I saw a stat yesterday that a new supercharger goes in worldwide every like 12.5 hours. So basically two a day, and that is worldwide, but they're putting them in fast. And if Ford is also jumping on board and being a part of this network, there's probably something going on financially behind the scenes of Ford saying, hey, we're going to help build this network out, whether that's just from a licensing fee or whatever. So if the first adapters start rolling out early next year, the first new vehicles with uh, NACS start rolling out late next year. So that gives Tesla a little bit of extra breathing room to put more stations in. And that's another reason I think Ford chose to make this move. I think a couple years ago, myself included, we all believed that the CCS networks were going to expand quickly. Electrify America made a bunch of announcements. EVgo made a bunch of announcements about how they were growing. It was gonna go roll out so fast. EAs had their own different kind of struggles, but we just haven't seen that network growth. At least here in Minnesota, we're still at three very separated EA stations, and there just doesn't seem to be progress. I'm guessing Ford probably saw some of that too, that the only way we're going to make great strides and not have to do it ourselves as Ford is to step up to the availability and the reliability of the Tesla supercharger network. So I think it's a huge win for Ford EV drivers, especially going forward once they've got that plug on and everything. And it's a good thing for Tesla owners because this will only help accelerate the growth of the supercharger network. And it does leave a couple questions. First question is Magic Dock. Uh, that's for everybody to use, but does this slow the rollout of Magic Dock? I don't think it quite makes it redundant, but if this is the start of a snowball and other manufacturers are going to switch, would it make Magic Docks less important? I still think in the short term they're going to be needed and should be rolled out, especially like I've said before, across Western Minnesota, across the Dakotas, Wyoming, Montana, where there's just 
nothing for CCS. So I hope this doesn't put that program on the back burner. I think this is also really fascinating from a Ford competitive edge standpoint, where the Silverado pickup is going to be rolling out at the end of this year, early next year, and so close to production, they've already got all their tooling, everything is set to roll that vehicle out. Now suddenly, by the time that starts rolling out, Ford's going to be able to say, yes, but we can charge on the supercharger network. And GM's going to be like, we got all this figured out for CCS, and now what do we do? So probably good strategic timing on Ford's part with that Silverado coming out soon. Now, it also does beg the question of, does Rivian make this move? Because Rivian's big competitor really isn't Tesla because they're competing against trucks and large SUVs. So the F-150 Lightning, a lot of people cross shop or a handful of people like Todd Malogny or EV Dave have had the F-150 Lightning and a Rivian R1T. And, you know, at the end of the day, Tom Malogny was like, which one do I end up with? If people are making that choice between those two pickups, starting next year, Ford will be able to say, well, we have the supercharger network. Now, Rivian is doing their own Rivian adventure network, but that's rolling out relatively slow. Fast for a startup doing it for the first time, but they're not gonna have that massive scale that the supercharger network brings. One of the most exciting things for me is that this is a huge milestone in EV adoption, and it's sending a signal that Ford isn't just dipping their toe, they're actually making really big strides and maybe swallowing a little pride to get a little help from a smaller player of Tesla. But it's cool that this afternoon, at least, everyone online is all buddy-buddy and happy to be sharing this huge advancement for EV adoption. And it's important because not everyone's going to want to own a Tesla. Not everyone's going to want to own a Ford. Someone was doing an online poll today of, would you, you know, consider moving from a Tesla to a Rivian? And I'm like, yeah, Rivian's a great vehicle, but I don't need a truck and I don't need a giant SUV. The Model Y works perfect for me. But for my neighbor, it might not. For any of the other cars in this parking lot, it might not. So we need EVs of all shapes, sizes, brands, and good charging for all of them is important. So much so that I was at an EV event the other night with my electric company showing my car and they were doing test drives and all sorts of brands were there, uh, Mercedes, uh, Volkswagen, Polestar, a bunch of them. And it was really great, but as I looked at these very fine cars, in Minnesota at least, I was thinking, but how can I charge on a road trip? If I go through the Dakotas, is it gonna be a pain? And Tesla doesn't have that problem. Soon Ford won't have that problem either, and that's fantastic. So I'm hopeful for more adoption, and I'm excited to hear what you guys think about this. The supercharger network is growing all the time, so I wanna say welcome, the more the merrier. I'm really excited about this. If you would like a Ford owner's perspective, a Mach-E owner's perspective, I encourage you to go check out the Mach-E vlog and they're just off the cuff comments from Disneyland. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But thanks for watching, have a great day, happy charging, happy road tripping, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks.